Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bonnie trail. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. <laughs> Brighton bringing every girl and boy. Baskets full of Easter joy. Things to make your Easter bright and gay. He's got jelly beans for Tommy, colored eggs for Sister Sue. There's an orchid for your mommy and an Easter bonnet too. Oh, here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, happy Easter day. Hi guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. All right, today there's a bunch of new stuff going on. I have a new light, so no ring light in my glasses, although if I look up you can see, but it's more muted. And um, and I have a microphone. What is that right there? It's not something that you need to tell me. It's I have a microphone clipped on. So I hope this is going to help with some of the sound issues. Um, now that I'm retired and devoting a little bit more time to my channel, I'm doing a little bit of um, playing around to figure out the best way for the best video quality. Okay. So today is totally easy Tuesday. If you're new to the channel, um, you should know. You really should know. I'm going to tell you something big. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. I do not run around to different stores. I'm not going to show you something and say like, oh, I went, I got this at Michael's or I went to Walmart. No, mm -mm -mm -mm. everything comes with the Dollar Tree. It just makes it super easy. So if you want to follow me and recreate any of my crafts, um, it's like one-stop shop. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't have to hunt for it, but just like any other store, you know, you can walk into Walmart and they don't have their paint stocked, which apparently happens a lot. Or you can go to Michael's and you can't find the same thing. Somebody bought it on clearance, you know, those kinds of things. However, I'm Dollar Tree only. And if you hunt well and you're a good hunter of Dollar Trees, you'll find the stuff that I find. The one caveat to that is if you live in a small town. And I get it. I used to. So then it's a little bit harder. But anyway, guys, wish you all the best of luck for finding some of the things that if you're looking for something specific at Dollar Tree, just keep hunting. All right. But let's dive in. So today is what we call Totally Easy Tuesday. By the way, besties, how are you liking this? This is video four days in a row. Yeah, like four days in a row of Amy's videos, which I'm working on and I'm hoping that I can at least do three to four videos a week. And as I'm doing more and more challenges, those that throws things off. Like my Saturday haul actually came out on Monday because I couldn't release it on Saturday or Sunday because I did challenge videos. I didn't want to waste releasing a second video on the same day, so I released it on Monday. Anyway, enough about that. Do you want to get into what I made for you today? Let's do that. So Easter is early this year. It's like the end of March, which really throws us all off. We don't get to craft Easter all the way through March, and I've already done one St. Patrick's Day video, so there's no more. So I'm going to do a couple of Easter videos, but they're going to be sporadically intermixed in some of, some of the other stuff that I'm going to do. So let's dive right in. I love the three that I did today. And they are easy, and that's the best part. So Totally Easy Tuesday is literally about making things that are totally easy, and anybody can do. And it's really about upscaling a lot of things that the Dollar Tree gives us. So I don't remember what order I did these in, but let's start here. So I only bought one, one sign this year from Dollar Tree, one. I'm really trying to work through my holiday stash for all my besties, you guys know that. And this was the sign that I bought this year. However, when I bought it, it looked a lot different. I loved the blue in this, but it wasn't all tattered and aged up. And there was beads on the top and there was, there's, there was cardboard carrots here. Um, so I, I redid it. I made it my own. Do you want to see how? Let's watch this. And you'll see what it looked like to begin with. Then you can let me know what you think. So, and also for all my besties that are here all the time, I did something a little bit different. I did not use shoe polish on this one. I used a watered down chestnut colored paint. And the reason I did that was because I wanted to pull in that sort of terracotta orange color, like carrots, like these carrots. Okay, so watch, this is how I made it.
this is what it looked like originally. And there was beads on the hanger. And I'm going to take off the cardboard carrots. And now we're just going to start to distress it. So I'm sanding it to get all that glitter off. I can't stand the glitter. No glitter. Um, and then sanding the edges, because I always do. <laughs> I took a baby or a glass wipe and was wiping off all the glitter off of it. So now I'm using like the weeding tool and I'm just indenting sort of the um, planks just so they look a little more realistic. And also then when I sand, it sort of has um, a pathway to sand into. Works for the most part. And then again, I'm just gonna sort of age it up by sanding it there around and everywhere. And I started to use a furniture polish, didn't like, I mean a, a furniture marker, didn't like that color, it was too dark. So I'm like, no, 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 I'm not gonna do that. And so then I got, this is chestnut and put, put it in some water and just sort of apply and wipe away. And I go all the way around the edges with it. It's not your normal like aging color, but I kind of like it. I just gave it, I don't know. I don't exactly not explain what it did. And then this is just the, um, uh, the sketching pencil and just going over those lines again so they just really stand out. Okay, there we go. That's done. Let's dig, get the carrots. I got to pull the, the raffia off of them, take the hanger part, cut it in the middle, then wrap it around and make a bow tie out of it. And then I was trying to stick it back where the original carrots were hanging. I just didn't like that. So in the end, I bunched them all together and put them off to the side on the top there. And I use a piece of jute twine to tie them together. And then I'm just going to tie it onto the hanger. So that works great. And then I get some um, burlap, cut a piece to make a little scrunched up little bow right there on them. And I'm just trimming it down so it's the right size, glue that on. And I'm going to put two carrots down in the bottom. So do the same thing, remove the raffia, cut the hanger, wrap it in the front and make a little bow. A little bow. And then I'm going to put those two together and glue them right there on the side just to sort of balance it out. And there's five carrots, five, five odd numbers, remember? <laughs> and then um, I decided I wanted to put something on the bow so I get one of these little wooden carrots, I mean um, bunnies, put that on there, and then played with putting some other places on it. Anyway, I don't, and I like it, it's perfect. things that I did like really pushing in the grooves where the lines are because it's the smallest little details you guys that make the biggest difference and then that meant that I could really highlight those long lines and really make it look like it's a planked piece of wood and using these carrots which I love these bottle brush carrots but if you noticed you know they have a hanger on there. I just cut the hanger I took the raffia off cut the hanger in half and then pulled it to the front and tied a little bow which was tricky they're small bows Okay, so, and just one little wood rabbit there at the end, you saw where I was like placing one here. And I, here's my problem. If I had placed one there, I would have had two bunnies. And I hate even numbers. All my besties that are here all the time know that. I hate even numbers. I don't think it balances well, except in the case of bookends, right? You have to have one, two, you can't have three. So, but I didn't want to put a bunny here. And then I thought putting one here was too much. And initially when I bought this sign, I said, there was too much going on. So I listened to my own advice and I was like, stop, Amy. It's fine the way it is. It doesn't need anything more. So I like this much better. I think it's it's way better than how it started out. Now, it's funny. Today, I made three signs, which at, for those of you that are around, you know, I don't make a ton of signs um, just because I think there's only so many places you can put signs. But the core pieces, you can put a lot of places. So every time I do a sign like this, I think it can also be a lean-to on a counter or something like that. Um, but I left the hanger on it, and this was the original hanger. So there you go. Hanger back up. Okay, next is I bought this, um, the shelf liner, and I absolutely love the pattern. And I was like, I know I'm going to use it in Easter. 
So I used a couple of things different in this one and I absolutely love it. I think this is super adorable, like for a nursery or something. Wouldn't it be super cute in a nursery? So this is shelf liner. A couple of things I want to point out before you guys watch this is see how you can just see that little fog of white. That's what I'm doing with the shoe polish when I'm running along the edge of it because it just softens that edge really nicely. And of course, now we don't have the wood edge, right? We've got a, a colored edge on it. All right, this is so easy. Let me show you this one. So I'm just going to remove the bunny here, and I could have um, put some heat to it, but I just scraped it out. It came off fairly easily, so it was good, that worked. And then I'm going to cut my shelf liner here to the right size, peel it off, lay it down, put that egg on, and when I flip it over, I can see the black lines. So I'm like, nope, that's not going to work for me. So get out the, which I had to get this out anyway to, be, to paint the bunny, so it was no big deal and two coats and now it's light enough that I'm not going to see it when I put the shelf liner on there. So press it down really well, flip it over, pull out any bubbles that you might have and then just take a nail file and we're going to just take that and um, file it all around the edges and it gives it just, just a perfect fit when you do this. And it's so easy with the shelf liner. This is so easy to do. So go all the way around and voila, there we go. Boom, boom. So now I'm going to put the bunny on and at first I had him up almost in the middle and I'm just going to measure to make sure that I've got him directly in the center of this egg and I get him there and then I realize, oh, I think he's a little too high. So I pulled him down just a little bit and then um, I'm getting the pencil because I'm going to draw the circle so I know I laid the bunny right back down where I had him. So I'm going to measure again because I pulled him down a little bit, make sure he's centered, and then just outline the little hole there. It was super easy, right? Now, when I put glue on the bunny, I've got a template of exactly where he goes back so I don't have to worry about that. And just some hot glue to glue him down. And Mr. Bunny is going to go right over where I drew the hole. And look at that, boom, he's centered. So now let's move on to decorating Mr. Bunny. Is it Mr. Bunny, Mrs. Bunny? We don't know. So this is a pen, a novelty pen, but I wanted the yellow bunny tail <laughs> that's on this pineapple pen. So I've got to cut these things off of it that are on there. They didn't come off. You know, if I had heat, if I'd used my heat gun, might have been able, but I was like, nah, I can just cut them off. It'll be fine. Um, so I get them off. And the top is a little bit more difficult, but I had to go, I had to cut a little further into the fur, so to speak, to get the pineapple topper off. But I do, I get it off. And it leaves a little indentation, but with a little fluffing, you don't even see it. It just kind of disappears. So now I'm going to pull it off the pen. And there we go. I've got to push the middle back in because it sort of came out with, with the pen. And now we're going to glue that down. So it's a big it's a big bunny tail. This is an obnoxious bunny tail, but it's so dang cute on there. And I'm just pushing it in to see if I can shrink it a little bit by pushing the center in. So some hot glue. Here we go. Bunny tail on. Boom, boom. Now let's take the yellow bric-a-brac that came in. I got this last year, this package has bric-a-brac, some pom-poms in it and stuff. So I'm just going to take that to give him a little collar. So get my scissors and, and cut that out. Um, I didn't go over the sides on it. It would have been too difficult to do, number one. And if I had wrapped it around the bunny before I glued the bunny down, then there would have been a lip, right, where the ribbon was. So I'm just, just uh, trimming it so it fits directly on the top of it. And that they cut out the little curves for the neck right there and just a little bit of hot glue to lay it down. And now let's just go to the top of this thing. I'm going to do my ribbons. Um, that's that Dollar Tree Plus ribbon that I love. And then I use one of the other 
Dollar Tree ribbons. I'm like, what's all Dollar Tree? And I'm just getting, these are just like um, regular bows. Nothing fancy about them. I'm just layering three together. And I use the bric-a-brac piece of bric-a-brac to tie it um, to, as my thing that ties them all together. Dovetail the ends. I'm going to fix that one a little bit. And then I'm going to get it onto the egg. I thought it was a little too big, so I pulled the tails um, in a little bit because the bow part seemed a little large and obnoxious at first. <laughs> it was like it was a little overbearing. It might even still be. I don't know. Anyway, um, but uh, I've got to take the weeding tool and poke through the hole because uh, the, so the hanger can go back on there. And then um, I'm going to take the white shoe polish and shoe polish the edges so it's not wood, it's like a whitewash. And then after I go around the edges, I'm going to go on the top of it around the edges. Like I showed you, it just sort of gives it a little bit of a um, soft edge on there. I'm going to put the original hanger back in. I didn't, do, didn't change the hanger at all. And once I get that on, I'm just going to glue the bow right on top of that and then this project is done I think this is super cute I love that shelf liner and this is exactly how I saw it I just yeah it's cute I really like it hope you guys like this one too I'm gonna fluff this bow up some more because I just wasn't quite happy with it <laughs> and I didn't want the tails to hide the ears so I was trying to squish them up there anyway it's all done let me know what you think of this one and I trimmed the bricker back there so it wasn't hanging down over the ears all right, let's go to the next one. Yeah, totally easy. But you'll notice, you guys don't have to paint it like I did. I put this on, and then I was like, ooh, I could see the lines from that color. You could, I could have flipped it over. But I'm one of those people, I would have hate to flip it over and see that backside. I like things to look finished. So I went ahead and took the time to put two coats of that of the, um, the Acrylology white paint from Dollar Tree. I took time to put two coats of it on there so that you wouldn't see the lines coming through the paper. And do you not, are you not in love with this massive, and I mean, this is like a Kardashian bunny. Ba -dum -bum. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, boom, we got, baby got back. Man, this bunny's got some back on there. But it was just too cute. I really wanted to use the yellow. I like the yellow and the blue. And of course, popping these ribbons in, which this is the only ribbon I believe that I bought from the plus section ever. And I think I bought it last year. I just love the bright yellow with the bunnies on there. I just love that. Okay, so it's all, all Dollar Tree stuff. This just happens to be from the plus section, but it's a nice big roll. And just taking that, this pencil that had the yellow pom-pom on top of it, which is a bunny, it's a bunny tail. It's a bunny tail. I know it is. And putting it on there, I just thought it was so cute. So simple. Yes, totally simple, you guys. All right, let's go to the final project I did, which... Um, it's funny because I, I do this all the time. I think all crafters do this. Like I start out in one direction and then I'm like, oh, yeah, no, that's not where I'm going. So this one, I had this cool idea. Originally, it was just the Easter sign here, right? And I had this really cool idea. I was going to put carrots behind the bunnies. And as you see, you'll see where I'm putting the beads on the back of this to, because um, there's holes in them and I was going to glue carrots in there. And then at the end... I ended up putting these eggs on. I, add, I went to add carrots. It just didn't look right. So it was, I had a totally different vision. In the end, I'm in love with what it came out to. I absolutely love this. And how stinking cute to pull the little pom-poms off the barrette, the barrette from the Dollar Tree hair clip section, but it had these cute little pom-poms on it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm using them. So I'm totally using those. They're Easter Bunny tails. I do this every year. All year long, I will buy something that has a colored pom-pom on it. So I can throw it in my Easter stash to make 
colored bunny tails because I think that's absolutely adorable. They don't have to be white, right? All right, let's see how I made this one. So this came on a stand and it just looked awkward to me. So I take a utility knife and I just score along the bottom and it sort of breaks the glue. I didn't heat it up, I just did that and then took a hammer and went bam and off it came. Perfect. I think it looks better already without that stand on it. So I'm taking white shoe polish just to go all around the edges to um, so it's not wood to finish it off. Then some of that white shoe polish over the ears to bring tone down that glitter and then all over the letters to tone them down just so it wasn't quite so bright anyway it worked perfect it's just a slight little sort of shadow over it or um, fog and then some beads on the back there to what I thought was going to be to put my keratin but didn't end up and now this little barrette had the three little mini bunny tails on there so perfect colors too there was a pink there was a yellow and there was a greenish blue so it all worked out perfectly and now I'm going to add these eggs which are from a garland and they're pretty cool um, gingham check so shoe polish around the edges of these two to finish them off and then just figuring out where they go we're just gluing them to the beads that are already sticking up or onto the other eggs again it gives it this three-dimensional look I love how this came out. Absolutely love how this came out. And and you'll see me just pop a carrot in here because I think I'm going to maybe still add the carrots. Oh, and I had to put some tumbling blocks on to help it stand. But no, I didn't. You can if you want to, but I love it the way it is. Again, easy, right? So um, I'm going to flip it over and show you the back side and the in between here because this is where I was going to stick some, I put the beads here and I was going to stick some carrots in there. It just didn't look right in the end. It was just so perfect the way it was. I left it. And also you'll notice I really toned down these black letters with that shoe polish just sort of putting, I don't know if you guys can see it but it just sort of fogs it a little bit, which brings that tone down a whole bunch. Super important when you're doing crafts like this, it's those little tiny, I say it all the time, <laughs> it's those little tiny details that change it. So now in the end, this is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna put it on my shelf or on top of my piano. It's so adorable and what I absolutely love, and it's a really good trick and you guys should, should think about using this sometime, is I did not glue them directly to the bunnies, right? There's this space here between the eggs and the bunnies because I put the beads and the blocks to help it stand up. All right, guess what that does? It gives it a really good three-dimensional look and that gives it a very high-end look. So this is my favorite, I think, today, although blue bunny, I don't know. Anyway, it's my favorite today, I'm pretty sure. So which one of these is your favorite? Please let me know in the comments down below. Did I show you how I made that? Just in case. Last time, I forgot to cut away and show how I made it. Yeah, I already had. I think I did because I came back and said easy, easy. Okay, whatever. So uh, sometimes I need a marker, someplace where I'm writing it down, checking it off. Okay. So you guys, I hope you really like that. Um, that's totally easy Tuesday for you. I should be back here tomorrow because I've got a wild Wednesday for you tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that one. All right, everybody, don't forget. Please tell me down below. Actually, that'll be five videos in a row, right? One, two. It will be five videos in a row. What? What? What, you guys? Oh, my gosh. All right, tell me down below which one is your absolute favorite. I really want to know. Mine is Little Easter Suit. It's so cute. It's so cute. And it was so easy. Oh, and one thing.
just I really do want to point this out. I know I probably voiced it over, but running that shoe polish, which could be watered down white paint, over the glitter just made it so much more pastel and really more adorable, FYI. Okay, and I thought about putting a bow. I decided not to because it was going to hit the letters, so I kept it simple, and I love it. All right, that's it. Okay, everybody have a great day, a great week, a great life. Do you know who originally recorded? Here comes Peter Cottontail. Hopping down the bunny trail, he's off to Dollar Tree to buy some treats. <laughs> anyway, Gene Autry, the cowboy. Um, didn't he do Frosty the Snowman too? Mm, I think so. Anyway, okay. So, and of course, none of us know the verse, right? We only know we only know the chorus. Here comes Peter Cottontail. All right, everybody, have a great. I already said it, but I'm gonna say it again. Have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter. Happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Bye-bye, besties. I'll see you next time.